Life cycle basically refers to the various stages which an individual undergoes. It is the series of stages and functional activities through which an organism passes between successive recurrences of specified primary stage. In biology, a life cycle is a series of changes in form that an organism undergoes returning to the starting state. It is closely related to those of the life history and development but differs from them in stressing renewal. Phases of Human Life Cycle The following are the various phases of a human life. Phase 1. Pre-birth Preserved state Allahu al-Mahfud Allah says, No disaster strikes upon the earth or among yourselves except that it is in a register before we bring it into being. Indeed that for Allah is easy. Allah created all the souls of the descendants of Adam and Eve who were predestined to come to this earth. Everything about the universes and our soul before and after creations are documented and recorded in the book board in heaven. Mother's womb. Allah says, and certainly did we create man from an extract of clay. Then we placed him as a sperm drop in a firm lodging, that is, the womb. And then we made the sperm drop into a clinging clot. And we made the clot into a lump of flesh. And we made from the lump bones. And we covered the bones with flesh. Then we developed him into another creation. The physical creation of man starts with a drop of sperm which takes its own course to develop onto a complete human being. It is a process which takes place in the womb of the mother. Phase 2. World. Birth. Allah says, it is he who created you from dust, then from a sperm drop, then from a clinging clot. Then he brings you out as a child. The journey of man in this world begins with his birth. It is an act which brings the human being out of his mother's womb. 2. Childhood Allah says, And do not kill your children out of poverty. We will provide for you and them. From the verse, it is clear that the stage which comes after birth is the age of childhood. Allah instructs people not to kill their children with a fear that they would not be able to feed them and take care of their needs, which would lead them to poverty. 3. Youth Allah says, It is we who relate to you, O Muhammad, their story in truth. Indeed, they were youth who believed in their Lord, and we increased them in guidance. In Quran, Allah has spoken about young men from which we can derive that after childhood, the next state which the human being enters is the youth, adult. Allah says, he grows until when he reaches maturity and reaches the age of 40 years. The verse speaks about the various stages of human being. The last stage which is specified in the verse is 40 years. This is the stage where the adulthood of the individual begins. Old age. Allah says, Allah is the one who created you from weakness, then made after weakness strength, and then made after strength weakness and white hair. From the verse, it becomes clear that Allah moves people from being strong to becoming weak, which is nothing but old age. The verse also gives another sign of old age, which is white hair, which generally people get when they cross 50 or 55 years. 6. Death Allah says, Every soul will taste death. This is the state which ends the journey of the human being on the face of this earth and takes him to a different world and scenario altogether. No living creature that has been sent to this world through Allah has come to stay permanently, but to depart one or the other day. Thus, death marks the end of a person's stay and contribution. Phase 3. Assessment 1. Grave The fire, they are exposed to it morning and evening, and the day the hour appears. The punishment which people will undergo when they are in the grave. They will be shown glimpses of the hellfire every morning and evening. This constantly fills such people with dread and horror in view of the fact that they will eventually be hurled into hell. The culprits will keep on witnessing this ultimate punishment from the moment of their death. 2. Doomsday Allah says, And one of the day of horn will be blown, and whoever is in the heavens and whoever is on the earth will be terrified except whom Allah wills. Allah says, Everyone upon the earth will perish, and they will remain the face of your Lord. The first horn which will be blown, which will commence the destruction of the world. It will be a day which would be a very heavy on the heaven and the earth. It will be a day when everything in the world would be destroyed. 3. Day of Resurrection Allah says, then it will be blown again, and at once they will be standing, 
looking on. Allah says, And that they may know that the hour is coming, no doubt about it, and that Allah will resurrect those in the graves. It describes about the period of resurrection where the next horn will be blown after a complete destruction of the earth. Once the horn is blown, all the people would be resurrected from the grave. 4. Day of Judgment Allah says, And fear a day when you will be returned to Allah. Then every soul will be compensated for what it earned, and they will not be treated unjustly. It is the day when all deeds of every individual will be presented in front of Allah and the recompense will be given to people as per their deeds, as per the promise of Allah in the Quran. It is a day where the records will be given to people in their right hand for those who were believers and did righteous deeds and the records will be given to the people in their left hand for those who disbelieved and committed wrong act. Phase 4. Result 1. Paradise Allah says, But they who believe and do righteous deeds, those are the companions of paradise. They will abide therein eternally. This is the last and final phase of a human being where he gets his return for what he has done on earth. For the people who have believed and who have done righteous deeds, for them Allah has promised them paradise, where they would abide forever, where they would get all that they desire. 2. Temporary Punishment Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him said, Allah will bring out people from the fire and admit them into paradise. Few people would not remain in hell forever. They would be in hell for a certain period and later they would be moved to paradise. The level of paradise in which these people will abide would be of the lowest level. 3. Hell Allah says, Our Lord indeed whoever you admit to the fire, you have disgraced him. And for the wrongdoers, there are no helpers. The people who do not believe in the one true God and the Messenger and do not follow the commandments of Allah, for them hell would be their eternal destination, whose fuel would be men and stones. The four phases of human beings' life gives us a comprehensive approach to our life and the hereafter. The aspect of human life given by Islam helps a person to plan his future. The different phases of life which is brought forward by the Quran helps the believers to have a greater vision and to think just beyond the life of this world. The knowledge about the life cycle helps a person by helping him know his reality and will make the person to think beyond happiness, being cool, becoming popular, earning money and having prestige in the society and will motivate him to strive and struggle for a better result in the hereafter. If you are new to our channel, then please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get regular updates. If you like our video, then please drop in a like and share the video with your friends and relatives and gain Savabhajariya.